Don't do that. Oh, right up there. Ah! It's not a huge cliff. I mean, whatever. You'd, you'd live. Oh, 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 oh. All right, what's up, dudes? I am here with Alby, Alby Dog, and H Ball, aka <laughs> Hebelin. Uh, we're at the bottom of Zen Trailhead. We're having to do the intro from inside the car because it's so freaking windy. But uh, Zen Trail has definitely been covered. There's been a lot of videos about Zen Trail, but it's super complicated. And True Grit Epic, uh, the endurance race out here, is in a few days. So I thought I'd get out, and this is, this is Heather's first time seeing Zen Trail. So uh, I've done it a bunch, but we're gonna see if she runs into trouble on it. And then I'm gonna try to help her through any of those uh, problematic rock spots. And hopefully, uh, you know, some of you guys can benefit from it as well. All right, let's get out there in the uh, freaking gale here. <laughs> yeah, Zen Climb starts right there. thing is the course is marked way in advance so it's even more marked than it was a couple days ago and it's still you know five ow, hey! five days of the race we're gonna focus on the real problem spots which there are many on this trail uh, especially during a an endurance cross-country race but uh so it just starts out with this kind of chunky climb no, the climbs are too long, but they can be very uneven. Got a case in point here. Ah. All right, so here, now jog left, hard left. Get up onto this. There you go. Well, not as here because you know it's coming. You just don't want to get trapped down there. All right, so we're kind of we're at like the first top of zen this is kind of where it starts to get more serious but it's like that was the most of the actual climb and then here you do kind of have like a, a local knowledge super steep roller uh, kind of neck snappy and i bottomed the shit out of my suspension uh you can also sneak get halfway down this then take a hard left neither of those are the faster line and then there's a really tight squeeze between these rocks here so just go into it level pedals and then just level off the pedals and just try to squeeze through my, my feet actually hit the sides and when i had bigger shoes when i had the sort of more downhill shoes literally couldn't fit with the contours so you're obviously coming down this channel and Staying in the channel. <clears throat> and I did just notice that you can kind of go over here, which isn't a big deal, but that's obviously not the fast racery lines. So then here, this is super tight. And you can see all the, the pedal marks. So you're like my feet are gonna squeeze like scrape on that. Yeah, yeah, just go to scrape. So you just go for it. I mean, you're not wider than I am, you know? So we have the same shoes. My feet are bigger. <laughs> I just get really small. Oh! <laughs> so that's like the worst that can happen. I mean, you tear the buckle off your shoe and then you can't race anymore. <laughs> Good thing you don't have boas. All right, so now we're at the first legit tricky pat, dude. So here, you're not gonna like the uh, the slightly easier option. <laughs> See, it's all mental. It's all mental. These rocks and nothing. So my line, I like to go, I actually realized, I don't know if this was here before, but I like to either go straight up, and I just go straight up the mess. But that's a risky line to do in the race. This kind of, this is like, it's not much exposure, but you gotta get out here, which is, I mean, it's, It's not a huge cliff. I mean, whatever. You'd, you'd live. Uh, but then you gotta come out along here. Yeah, so it's like, you're, you're like a little close to the edge. Uh, but then the, the thing here is it's much easier. Well, I guess you ride all through here. 
to stay right. And then the key to this this line, actually that, that cheater rock ramp looks like a freaking mess right now. That doesn't look good at all. <laughs> so the trick here is like, you just come up. But this is like, this is not looking great right now. <laughs> and then there was six, so people will head up that way and then that takes forever. That's not really the way to go and you gotta hike a bike it anyway. So you like in a race scenario, uh, it's either, it's faster to just ride or hike that line. And the only reason you'd probably want to deviate over here, unless you just really wanted to stay on your bike is because there's a ton of traffic. But by the top of that climb, there shouldn't be a ton of traffic. I hadn't even thought about this. You can actually start on this line and this saves you from some of the exposure and go over this way, then over that way. But again, those, the cheetah rock ramp looks like crap right now. I wouldn't even mess with that. I would just hike or, or try to ride this straight line. As far as actual difficulty, this is kind of tied with the entry to lower Zen, and there's nothing as hard as those two things. And most, most people walk them. The only reason I ride them is because I'm not racing. I can burn my entire matchbook. All right, so here, the trail kind of goes to the right, but stay left, just climb up that lump. There you go. And then go to the right, to the right, to the right. So there's just kind of this, oh, okay. Here, there's just kind of this goofy crack that you have to either ride up on either side of or kind of hop across where if you kind of, you can, I mean, as long as you stay high anywhere through here, you can make it through. Left, big rock. Nice. You can go right as well, but that left line's faster and it's smooth. It's just a little roll. All right, so we got a tough, a little up here. Let's get ready, bottle up some speed. You had a Chiaget. There you go. Oh, snip. I thought we were gonna have to session that one. Nice work. All right, so we got another one here. Stay out wide, wide right. We're gonna cut across and punch it. <laughs> this one's gonna be harder. So here, uh, I think this is one of those things where it kind of looks like you got all these contours and crap and it looks all weird, but you just come out wide. I wouldn't go super wide and go. Oh, you don't need to go to these ones? I would, no, I think that would screw you up more than anything because I guess it's too tight. So, so more like I would say just plow, yeah, right into that and then just straight, like don't turn it at all. Just try to come in and then you just start your sprint and just boom right up it. But good luck if you were 100 miles on your second lap and you were all punched out. Wide. Goodness. Boom. Right around this corner is one of the nasty little punches. Nothing really technical about it. You just got to get a low gear and keep traction. Ah! And not ride directly into a freaking rock. It's kind of nasty, but I mean, it's short. And this one is totally rideable. The next one, not so much. Yeah, I mean, low gear and just keep traction and you might have to crouch, bend your elbows down. But it's, I mean, it's just as far as you can see here. It's nothing crazy. You got it. Nice. You get into some of the cool Zen stuff where you start to go through these really narrow slots. Punch up this. Straight up the slab. Straight. Straight. I punch it. Oh God. So yeah, just, I mean, bit much bigger gear, you know, third maybe. 
And then, uh, you know, just basically, I guess once you note, you, you've gone up that steep thing, you've recovered, you got to here and then you're sprinting up this. All right, there you go, that was good. Right up there, bop, 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 oh yeah. Yeah, so check this out. This is wild. Tall guys gotta wash their heads. All right, so then up here, I guess overhang, and then there's gonna be this tricky little wallow up here. A lot of people screw this thing up. Uh, so come in here. Uh, I don't think you don't want to go over there. I don't think you'll be able to get out of it from there. So you need to go between this rock and that rock and you know absorb that, roll this, and then you're just really gonna pump, like you can't check your speed, you're gonna pump right across and up, and that's obviously a little awkward there. So I mean pretty tricky section, and I see a lot of people mess this up. And roll this, pump, then up. Super close. Oh, close again. Yeah, it is. It's, you can see a bunch of pedal struck through there. So, what do you know? Is the hero monster in there? Do you want to go say hello to your friend the hero monster? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> that was all Abby's fault. Hey, dummy, you gotta move. Oh. Still on the pedals. It's cross country racing, not trials. It's not slope style couch. There you go. You got through. <laughs> All right. Well, you get. I mean, that was. You're so close, like three, four times, whatever. Then, but you know it's coming. And also, you know that if you push through and you just have to dab, that's quicker than anything, and you can just you know scoot through and not have to worry about it. This thing is problematic for a lot of people. All right, so I'll demo it. So I'll come down and go across it. Then the thing you see where the markings are over there, yeah. you basically, you are you are bombing. Like, so you, there is a, uh, what was it? A, a right, left, right. But then you are bombing into that next thing. So, and then you're going like straight up it. You got it, you got it? Yeah, see, there you go. Nice. Around, the, around this corner is a funky little up. Oh, there you go. And it was nice. Thought we were gonna have to session that, so. Oh, 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 nice. Yeah, I don't think that's worth sashing. I mean, that's just a little, I mean, a little awkward. Stay high, high right, right, high. Okay, so this. Oh, nice. I've always just stayed up top, so. You're good. Nice. <laughs> I was thinking like, I'm definitely coming to, so here we go into, this is just an unnecessarily nasty climb. So this is the other, like, this is the one that a lot of people can't ride. Yeah, this one is almost not worth it. I mean, it's such a match burner. And it's not over. Pain, suffering. All right, so you can kind of see why that sucks. Ramp on it. Oh god, not much of a ramp. <laughs> We're gonna run into some rolls. They're all fine. Don't worry about any of them. Just 
do your thing. So like up here, I think we got to roll. Nothing. They get steeper and weirder, but you got them. It's just a nice roll. Right here, you got it. You got it. Nice. Yeah, that one can be freaky because it looks like the end of the world. You know? It's not the end of the world. Alright, so stay left. Oop. Uh, yeah, I think here we want to. Uh, Actually, let's look at this. So I always go right, but I don't know if you're gonna to want to go right. So I go right, and then, yeah. So here, I have to change. Either you're doing a drop, or what I do is I hop over and change line. So, I or here you got this crack. So, so this is tight. Is that? Can you ride through that gap? It looks like a snapper. Yeah, it kind of it does kind of go against the momentum of the trail, but then you're turning left between these bushes through this crack. All right, see your line. Show us the line. All right. Oh, he goes for the roll. Actually, is that a roll? Oh, he's dropping it. All right. Let me actually, I don't even know if... What? Uh, I'm an idiot, that's a roll. If you're going fast, then you can drop it like that kid just did, or you can hop the crack like I do, or you just, it's totally a roll. I'm an idiot. So, oh. yeah, totally a roll. That's a dumb line. Don't do it. You take it all back. So, yeah, so just stay with the momentum of the trail. But then, like, so, there's a couple of these where you need to either, like, that kid just dropped it, but if you slow down. All right, so nice and slow. So you need to go. Yeah, that's fine. Super smooth. All right, I'm glad we slowed down and noticed that line. All right, so I always end up coming in too fast. I go across there. All right, stay right here. Uh, no, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does, it does go down and then back up. That's super tricky. But I think this is one of those times where uh, I mean, there's no course marking here. Oh, there is one in the bush. So I think it's totally legit to stay right. I know the locals do. But yeah, you go down and there's like a sharp hairpin. So this is tricky though, but yeah. Yeah, but it's doable. Yeah, I was able to squeeze through, but I'm not super boosted like you. So I think, yeah, where Albie went, let's go. Uh, or, I mean, actually you can stay left. I don't know how exposed it is. But yeah, it looks like you can just stay left there. Okay. Down here, the trail jogs left pretty hard. Like, see that? So actually I set up way over here. I go right. Ah, uh, nice. Got it. Oh, almost. That's pretty good. But yeah, I like to set up a little wide there. It just makes it easier. So now this is the entry to Lower Zen. And sort of like the, when it tops out the first time, like almost no one rides this. So it's not even something to worry about. So there is, you're not going to like this one, but the easy line, like the B line, this is uh, to go up this. And you're gonna get like duke into that lip, and there's the off camera where you can fall on these rocks, and then you can kind of snake up, which is slow. It's probably faster to just hike straight up it, but uh, it's also after. So this is hard. Then the next move is harder. It's very hard, and then after that, it goes up a steep wall and then continues climbing. So it's not. I mean, I've filmed like one pro dude do it, and then. I've heard like Gwendolyn Gibson, who's in the pro women, rode it, but not many people ride it. I'm sure lots of locals do, but not like at the front of the race, it's only a couple of people. Yeah, so the sneaky line is to go up there, then up there, then up here. 
be able to punch it up through this, hit that little thing. Here, the other day, these cheater rocks were all out, so I couldn't even use those. I don't know if I want to use those. I was able to ride this side, but that's, uh, that not look super helpful. <laughs> I wouldn't ride this in the race. I don't have the luck for it. So the first thing was the, the wicked hot a lot and uh, the cheater rocks or the helper rocks were uh, not helpers, they were hinderers. They were not helping me cheat. And so then the other thing was the snaky kind of local one, which is still actually really technical. It has two little off cameras and like a baby exposure where you could fall like four or five feet to the ground. And uh, so, I don't know, probably in the race. Hiking is the way to go. Yeah, and then while you're all gassed, you gotta come up and negotiate this uh, off camembert, as the French say. It just keeps going. <laughs> that's the other thing. If you have the technical skills to do that, to do that, that's one thing. But then to have the gas to keep going, that's a whole nother thing. Upon, I think this is the the last adversity on uh, Zen, on Lower Zen, <coughs> and uh, locals will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's called the bathtub. That's what we call it anyway. Alright, we're dropping the bathtub, Zen right at the top. Into the channel, out of the channel, out of the channel, you don't want me to <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be on my channel. Okay, pump through. Nice. Yeah, okay, now punch, uh, punch it. Nice. All right, so then here you can actually cut right. Oh shit, it's pretty sloppy. I think there's a couple of these. So this looks like it's going to be a drop when you roll up on it. And it's totally not. So just roll up right here, and it's a nice smooth roll. Do some nice rock surfing through here. All right, so that was your wicked comprehensive Zen Trail preview. If you're a true grit racer or you're just someone who's coming to St. George to ride Zen Trail. Heather, what do you think of your first trip around Zen Trail? <laughs> it was fun, but really hard. What was the hardest part, the hardest part for people from Utah? What was the hardest part? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this up as quick as I can. If you got any other spots uh, you want us to look at on Zen Trail, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I don't even know where that thing is. I just hear people say that. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. <coughs>